Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, unlock your bootloader so you can install custom ROMs. If you don't do this and try to install Clockroom Recovery, Tort Recovery, or custom ROMs, you'll get this weird Verizon uh, thing because that's because the bootloader is locked and you'll have to unroot your phone. Um, so first, go ahead and go to System Settings and uh, About Phone, uh, make sure you have your uh, build number is VRALJ like that. Uh, it starts with VRALJ B like that. If you don't, um, go go unroot it back to this version uh, because if you have the future version, you can't do it. Don't do it on the future version. Make sure you have VRALJ B under build number. If you have that, um, you're all good to go. Go ahead and turn your phone off, and we're gonna put it into download mode. And uh, we're going to flash a uh, pit file and also a, um, a bootloader file. So go ahead and hold down volume down in the center home and the power button. All right. And hit the volume up. And you'll see this uh, warning screen here. Um, go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB computer, uh, micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer. Next, we're going to uh, use a Windows computer right now. Um, if you don't have a Windows computer, I highly suggest you borrow uh, your friend's computer. And uh, basically, you'll download Galaxy Note to unlock Verizon.zip. If you unzip it, you'll get a folder with a bunch of files, everything you need here. And also, you'll need uh, Samsung USB drivers installed. Um, just go ahead and double click on Odin 3 first. And uh, if you don't see this uh, blue highlighted uh, box with a random column number, that means you don't have drivers installed. Go ahead and download Samsung USB drivers. I'll have links on my website. Go ahead and run that. And uh, uh, after running the program, unplug your USB and plug it back in. And you should be able to see this blue uh, highlighted sign there. Um, so next, next, go ahead and uh, hit. Uh, sorry, I've got programs running. Next, go ahead and choose PIT right here. All right, don't touch anything else. And uh, go to the folder where you unzipped all the files, Galaxy Note 2 Unlock Verizon. Choose the SCHI 605-16GB.pit. This is the PIT file. And also for bootloader, um, choose bootloader baseline 2.tar.md5.gz. Uh, all right. And you're going to hit start. And this basically what this will do is get your uh, bootloader ready for flashing um, the other bootloader. Uh, so you can unlock the bootloader. Basically, you have to do this. Go ahead and hit start. Um, this will finish pretty quickly. And uh, boom. And it will reboot. And uh, we'll go to the next step when it reboots. Um, so it should say pass. You can close this up for now. All right, next you're going to go ahead and hit uh, menu button, go to system settings, uh, and find developer options. And make sure uh, developer options is checked on and USB debugging is checked on and then connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. All right, and let's go to our computer. Oh, and one more note, uh, make sure if it says connected as an installer for some reason, make sure it's in MTP mode. Um, that's the way to do it, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and run casual suck at Verizon injection 9.jar. Uh, make sure you have Java installed. If you have Java installed, you get this icon here. If you don't have that Java logo, Go to java.com and install java.com first. So I'm going to go ahead and run this casual suck at Verizon uh, injection 9.jar and uh, give it a second here. And uh, you can double click it again, uh, run it twice if you want. Connected. There we go. System so it's connected. Um, so go ahead and run this now. All right. Uh, okay. Continue. Disconnected. All right. There we go. And now I've got the uh, warning screen here. Um, so go ahead and hit volume up, 
this is the uh, unsecure mode. And then connect it back to your computer. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, run uh, Odin 3. All right, say yes. And then um, go ahead, make sure there's a com there. Uh, I should have it. And uh, point bootloader to the socket Verizon Odin package. So bootloader, uh, socket Verizon Odin package, 2.tar, that one open and hit start. And this will unlock your bootloader. Hell yeah, baby. Come on. All right. And your phone will now reboot. And uh, if you get that, you're all good to go. And boom, that means it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot it. Reboot system. And this is a great day for us, for me, for you. Um, now you should be able to install custom ROMs just fine using Clockmod Recovery or Twerp Recovery that installed. Your bootloader has been uh, completely unlocked. Um, so congratulations. That's how you unlock your bootloader. It's kind of a, a process. Uh, but you can do it and once you've got it going and you should be all good to go and if you want, want to get into um, the recovery now just go ahead and power off and uh, hold down volume volume up center and the power button and uh, you only have to do this once um, and yeah there we go and there's no uh, there we go volume up volume center home and the power Boom shakalaka. And let go of the power after a little bit. There you go. So we got full recovery. Uh, unlock bootloader. Suck it, Verizon. Um, thanks again to uh, Adam Utler. Don't forget to donate to him. I'll have a link to his XDA thread. And thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there. And also, uh, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at... Uh, GalaxyNote2.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, stuff like this, and more. And uh, I'm gonna go install ROMs finally. I had uh, one of my other phones. This is my second Verizon phone. The other ones had some power problems, so that's why it took me a while to make this video. But I finally did it. See you guys later. Have a great day.